Well, if you'd like to reach us with your questions about birds, birding, or anything else you'd like to talk about with natural history, you can call us at uh, 1-888-539-8859. And we look forward to hearing from you. We're going to go to uh, Conway and talk to Tony. Hey, Tony. Hey, guys. I, I wanted to begin by telling you how much I appreciate you and what you do, and I uh, always enjoy the show. Thank you Thank very you. much. I, I wanted to share a sighting with you. Uh, my family has a little small farm in rural Ory County, and um, for the past week or maybe 10 days, I've been observing a pair of Mississippi kites. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And, I, you know, we, we see the swallowtail uh, on occasion. As a matter of fact, I saw one uh, I saw one this weekend as well, not at, not at the farm. But anyway, uh, just going to get you to elaborate on them a little bit. I've, you know, read about them and, uh, and watched them. And, you know, there's a uh, – the farm's not very far from the Waccamaw River, and there's a lot of lowland and wetland in between. And they're kind of hanging out over there, soaring around, and uh, they'll come over the edge of the field and uh, back and forth. But uh, – uh, is is that common for them to be uh, here? I'm sure they're probably mm -hmm. looking to nest or either nesting. The, yeah, the, yeah, you're, they're, you're right in the heart of their yeah, breeding range. The yeah. Waccamaw River, man, yeah. what a place! You know that uh, that that place. I mean, probably or still some of the highest densities of of Mississippi kites and uh, and and swallowtail kites, really. But that Mississippi kite, Patrick, that's a success story. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we talk about swallowtail kites and kind of this. Struggle, the struggle that they've <laughs> really had. Struggle you know, they 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 haven't done very well, and um and and Mississippi kites are more generalist. As a matter of fact, we've got Mississippi kites nesting in suburban areas mm -hmm. now, so they're a much more flexible bird. But uh, what Tony's seeing is going to continue, I think, with Mississippi kites. People are going to begin to see more of them. We see them up here. Mm -hmm. We do. Um, you know, mostly in transit. Mostly, yeah. mostly in transit, but. You know, this is a bird that uh, kites forage a lot, Patrick, over open land. Right. That's right. You know, so ag fields. Um, and, and one of the things that we're learning, you know, as we go forward is that uh, some of our birds are once again kind of experiencing trouble due to some pesticides. Right. Um, and, and not just pesticides, but our choices in, in how, we, uh, how we're managing land. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, a few, few, few folks realize that our bird group that's in the steepest decline in South Carolina, and just like everywhere in the world, are the grassland birds. Yeah. They're the early successional uh, birds, the ones that like agricultural fields, cow pastures, and uh, burned areas, mm -hmm. and and so and clear cuts for that matter. Yeah. And so um, we've got a lot of forest today, but not quite as much ag space. So it's great that this tiny little kite is doing so well um, today. Uh, in stark contrast to things like swallowtail kites, yeah. which continue to struggle uh, to try and make a comeback. That swallowtail kites used to breed all the way up to Minnesota. Minnesota. Up and the Mississippi drainage. Sure ridiculous did. to think about today because we think about them being just around the Charleston, uh, Georgetown, Horry County area in South Carolina, and um, and then in Florida, and really not much of anywhere else in, no. in North America are they common. No, and some pretty big congregations of them. But Tony, as you go towards uh, as you go towards late summer, and yeah, we're here in spring, but you know, as you think about Patrick breeding season, the end of breeding season, uh, post breeding dispersal, you're going to see more kites. Um, swallowtail, not swallowtail kites necessarily. You'll see them out of range. Mm -hmm. But we had how many here last year, Patrick? Uh, four, uh, I think. Four in yeah. the Pendleton Pickens uh, County area, and, and they range widely. I mean, they're aerialists. But those Mississippi kites, um, you can sometimes see large kettles of them, and just these birds just kind of boiling over a field full of grasshoppers, yeah. and yeah. it's a cool, cool thing to see. So be on the lookout for these. Uh, these hay fields mm -hmm. um, and and ag fields because the birds love to forage over them. Yep, and it, that goes for anybody listening in the coastal regions. If you're in the Midlands, they're they're really yeah. abundant in the Midlands area, places around Columbia, Aiken, Allendale, just common Allendale. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere where you got good habitat down there in the Midlands or the coast, you're going to see breeding Mississippi kites. So. Awesome we sure have uh, we sure have been enjoying them. Uh, the family's been uh, looking at them, and like I say, we saw a swallowtail this past weekend as well. So it was a great uh, birding weekend for us. That's that's very a good nice. one. <laughs> You're very <laughs> lucky. Share that one. Very lucky to be where you are, Tony. Thank thanks, you, Tony. Thanks for being observant. You know, thank y'all for what you do. You got All right. it. You, you, got you know, I had a student uh, mm -hmm. student that called.
Mississippi kites, gangsta pigeons, <laughs> because they, uh, they who was that? Uh, Marla. Oh, of course it was Marla. <laughs> of course, because you know they 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 have attitudes, <laughs> um, and kites kind of have these attitudes. They're the size of a pigeon. They're the size of a mm-hmm. pigeon, and and superficially, when you first see one, you're like, whoa, that's a different pigeon. Mm-hmm. And she called them mm-hmm. gangsta pigeons. This was down at the McIntyre <laughs> Air National Guard Station, where those birds um, really hung out over those yep. fields. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Great. Great stuff. 